Okay, let me give you one more problem. Okay, look at that. Okay, it is first order. Okay, but the thing is, your right hand side is not gi not given clearly, which is given by the FG of t, right? Then there is no way to use the like previous method. Okay, there is no way to use undetermined coefficient method or like variation of parameter, right? And but like did, for those kind of problem, definitely you have to use the like convolution integral, okay? Let me show you how you can do it, okay? The process is same, okay? We're gonna take the Laplace transform, then we're gonna do the lifting, and then solve for y over s, that inverse Laplace transform, and that moment we're gonna use convolution integral, okay? And that's it, okay? Let me show you. Here we go. Apply Laplace transform both sides, and this will be uh, Laplace transform of y, the fourth derivative plus five, second derivative and Laplace transform of y equal to Laplace transform of gt. Let's say is capital G of s, okay? Okay. Then do the lifting. What is that? S to the four y s minus s cubed y zero minus square y prime zero and minus s y double prime zero and y triple prime zero like for the like first term and the second term plus let me write on the uh, on the bottom okay plus five second one right s square y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero okay and plus four y s equal to let's just like g of s is the laplace transform of g of t okay and then let me apply all the initial values and oh y of zero equal to one otherwise zero right this guy's one zero zero and zero and this is one and this is zero okay then s to the four y s minus s cubed and other than all zeros gone the second part plus five s square y s and minus five s plus four y s equal to g of s okay now let me get the all the y s term otherwise we're going to move to the right hand side okay s fourth plus five s square plus four equal to g of s plus s cubed plus five s Are you with me so far? Okay. Now, like it's obvious process, right? We're gonna divide by s to the four plus five s squared plus four on both sides. Okay. Oh, here we go. Your y s equal to. Um, let me write s cubed plus five s first. Okay. Um, s cubed plus five s over s to the four, five s squared plus four, and plus g of s over s to the four, five s squared plus four. We are here now, okay? So for the first part, since like this, like, well, like we still can use the, uh, like, you know, uh, conversion integral, but we can do, we can just like find the answer directly, okay? So like, let, let me show you, okay? It is equal to s and s squared plus five, over well this one is like you can factor this over one four is working like that okay and let me write that one on the right hand side too g of s and one over s square plus one s square plus four is okay so well like we can do like you know partial fraction for this one right we can write this one as a over s square plus one plus b over s squared plus 4 4 right when you solve this one we can easily find a and b let me give it to you okay it is one third and negative one third is it okay so <coughs> uh, and also like for the first part we can do the partial fraction as well it, let's say it's, it's a s plus b over
um, s squared plus one plus c s plus d over because your number is like s cubed, right? That's why you have to have an as and ds, okay? So when you solve this one, you can easily find as plus b is uh, four third s, okay? And b is equal to zero. And the second part is negative one third s plus zero as well, okay? And you can easily find this one. And then like, you know, we can rewrite this one as like, you know, partial fraction of one, okay? It is equal to um, four third s over s squared plus one and minus one third s over square plus four, like from the first fraction and the second fraction, g over s times plus g of s times, okay, one third out, one third, and it is one over square plus one minus one over square plus four, okay? Or we can just take out like a one third outside, okay? Does it make sense, okay? And we're almost there. Let me rewrite it one more time, okay? It's called four third S over plus one minus one third S over plus four and one third G of S times one over plus or minus one over square plus four. We are here now, okay? We are just like almost to prove, right? Like we're gonna do the like inverse Laplace transform. Before the Laplace transform, uh, inverse Laplace transform, then let me check like all this thing, okay? Look at this guy, where this came from. Look at the table, okay? It is, um, it is number, it is table number six, right? Which is cosine 80. And the second one, S over S squared plus four, it is number, oh, this is number six as well, six as well, they are saying. And then like the inside part, it is um, number, five, and this is number five, okay, which is sine function, okay? And that's it, we figured that out, and all the number is fine, looks fine. Oh, well, like, you know, only thing is this one. We need two here, they won't have here. That's it, otherwise perfect, right? So now, here we go. Uh, since I don't have enough space, let me make a little bit more. Please forgive me. Now we're gonna have enough space. Okay, so now it is time to find the answer. You are in solution of yt, which is inverse Laplace transform of ys is equal to four third and number six, which is cosine function cosine t and minus one third, number six, but a is two, okay, two squared, right? So which is um, cosine two t, I read it so far. And then this part, that is exactly product form between like g of s and this parenthesis, right? Which means you have to do the convolution integral, right? Is plus one third integral, zero to t, um, like, you know, g of s, like, you know, the inverse of first transform of g of s is gt, right? So it is g tau, let me use like the second one, okay? And times f of t minus tau d tau, where uh, my f of t is inverse Laplace transform of one over this one minus one half two over this guy, right? Which is equal to number five, right? Which is sine function, sine t minus one half sine two t, right? And plug in everything. Then finally, my yt is four third 
cosine t minus one third cosine two t, okay? And plus one third convolution integral zero to t and g of tau, we do not know about that part, but second part we know about that, which is sine t minus tau minus one half sine two t minus tau d tau. Uh, do I have to close another one? Yes. Okay. That's it. Or you can just change it as like, you know, uh, integral zero to t, uh, g of t minus tau times sine, sine tau minus one of sine two tau. That'll be that is totally fine. Okay. And that's it.